been here about seven years and I build furniture. I build furniture out of mesquite and wood, which is, there's 58 million acres of mesquite in Texas and one of the reasons why I use it. It's also a beautiful wood that I'll show you later. I haven't always been a furniture maker. I've been a commercial photographer for 30 years of my life. I still am. And uh, about six years ago, five, six years ago, a friend of ours came into my shop, which is right here, as you see some of it, and asked for a table. I designed her a table I thought was my style, and it still is my own style. She loved it. From one table to about five years later, um, into coffee tables nine feet. So it's really blossomed into something that I really love to do. I really love to design and build, and that's what this has turned out for us to be. And this is the beginning of instructional videos from our shop, from cutting down mesquite trees, to show you this magnificent tree they call mesquite. As I mentioned earlier, I was going to show you mesquite. This is from a mesquite tree. It's a beautiful tree. This is a small mesquite tree. A lot of people think this is the size of mesquite, and it is. There's a tremendous amount of mesquite everywhere in the southwest that grows to about this size. It's, it's a scrub brush. It's a, it's, a, it's a gnarly, it grows in a harsh environment, but that's what makes it so beautiful. It's a very, very hard wood. It takes a long time to grow. Its roots are very deep looking for water. This tree will grow in places other bushes won't grow. Now I'm going to show you mesquite trees I get that are a little bit bigger. This is also a mesquite tree. This tree is about 150 to 180 years old. It's a beautiful tree. I don't have these trees cut down on purpose. People don't want them. They're cutting them down. They're getting rid of them. I take this tree and I honor it and turn it into a piece of furniture for someone else to have for another hundred years in their family. I love working with this size tree. They're very special. I don't always get them this size, but this is how big mesquite can grow and bigger. Now let me show you something else that I really love about mesquite. The different grain patterns and some of the colors that it turns when it's actually that oil on it and it's finished. This is a straighter grain pattern, as you can see. It's a beautiful color. It's warm. Here's another grain pattern. Look at this. Look at the swirls. This is what you call a little bit slightly figured. And then it actually goes into more of a burl. And there's some special things you can make with this kind of wood. It's just beautiful. As you can see, these are very close in color. Then we'll go to a piece like this, and it's much lighter, more red in it. So as you're building furniture with this wood, you have to keep in mind the different colors and how you're going to match them up, or how you're going to use them as a contrast when you're actually making that furniture. This is a table over here that is in the process of being almost completed and ready for finish work. It still has to be final sanded, final fitted in the metal brackets, and as you can see, it's very lightish red. When it's finally tongue oiled and waxed and finished, it gains a color like this, this beautiful color that you see in mesquite. And this is also because it's got a patina going on. This is about a year and a half old, this piece. And it just darkens down to a gorgeous color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful wood. Remember I showed you earlier, this is mesquite. This is mesquite finished. That's why a lot of people love mesquite because they know it's going to look like this in their home, wherever they put it. In a year or two, it takes this gorgeous patina. I know you'll be looking forward to the next video because this really, really intrigued you. I know it. It's not just barbecue. We make furniture from it. We also barbecue with it, but we make furniture from it. And I'll actually show you later on the curves and the twists we make and how we laminate and do it. It's a really exciting process. And I want you to look forward to our upcoming video on how we inlay turquoise in our mesquite. It's top secret. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Lou Qualenberg Studios. First video on mesquite, furniture making, art, and everything else we're going to show you in the next couple months. Take care. Ah! Is this good right here? How's this look? Am I in frame? Am I in camera?